welcome to Chasing Mysteries Kitchen. I'm Rebecca and today we are going to be making a copycat Panera chicken and wild rice soup. It is my favorite soup at Panera. I just love the creaminess and the chicken and the wild rice. It is so delicious and we are expecting to get a snowstorm tonight and this will be a wonderful treat as we get snowed in. Snowed in. So join us on this adventure as we make Panera, copycat, chicken, and wild rice soup. So the recipe will be linked in the description box below. The first thing that we need to do is get a chicken breast boiling and cooking in some water. And it's just as simple as that, and it's step one. We want to get this lovely chicken breast covered in water. And you only want enough water to cover it. So we will let this come to a boil and cook for about 20 minutes. Other ingredients needed, celery, carrots, half a cup of flour, we have bay leaves, oregano, black pepper, two cups of milk, and two cups of water, two garlic cloves, one medium onion, rice aroni, long grain and wild rice, and 32 ounces of chicken broth. While that is cooking, we are going to get the rest of our ingredients started, and I am going to wash these three celeries. And we like our vegetables really small in our soup, so what I like to do is take a mandolin, such as this one, and this has different settings on it uh, that will change the blade and make your vegetables, or whatever you want a mandolin, different sizes. So I always have it on three, and then I just do it directly into the pot. And what's nice is when you mandolin, it kind of takes off the stringiness for you. I just pull those out. Or you can leave them in. And then I do the same thing with the carrots. So it gets them pretty thin. So this is two and a half cups of sliced celery and carrots. If you like more carrots, add more carrots. If you like more celery, add more celery. Uh, I did one and a half pretty good sized carrots and three stalks of celery to get the two and a half cups. Now we are going to chop our onion. And these are going to cook down so it doesn't have to be, it can be any size. I 
I usually chop it pretty small. Ha! Huh. I got a double onion. So I always rinse off my onions. I find that it doesn't make me cry as much if I rinse it first. I don't know why that's true or if it's if it is true, or if it's just me. Again, this doesn't have to be fancy. Just one medium size onion. Yikes. I hate it when it slides around. And that goes in with the carrots and celery. taking the chicken out of the water to see yes you want it to be done enough to be shreddable but not overdone because if you overcook it to begin with then it will become dry in the soup so we're going to set this aside let it cool off before we shred it the water that the chicken was in, you don't want to throw this away. This is flavored with the chicken. And because we need two cups of water in the recipe anyway, I just like to use the broth. So I need to, there's not much in this. I didn't use a lot. Uh, so let's measure this and find out how much additional water we're going to need. That is exactly one cup of liquid. So we will just need to add one additional cup of liquid. So we will reserve that for the next step. So just a tip for garlic. If you're going to be cooking with it, I like to get, there are many, many methods of how to get the skins off, and I'm going to show you mine. So I simply stick it in the microwave. For five to ten seconds. Once you hear it popping, then you want to take it out. So I flipped over my board because I put the chicken on it. And then you want to make sure not to burn yourself. These can be hot, but when they're a little bit hot, they pop right out of the skin. And then they're also easier to um, dice or if you're going to put them in a garlic press. It goes through the garlic press a lot easier when they are softer. So we're just going to dice this up. Again, be careful not to burn yourself. It can't be hot. And I am 100% using the wrong knife. Do not know why my bark dogs are going crazy barking. I think it's because I'm kind of knocking on the stove and they think that someone might be at the door. Alright, set that aside. Now we're ready to turn on the heat and get cooking. To start, you want to put 
that's, I just do a drizzle, maybe two tablespoons of olive oil in the bottom of the pan. Turn on the heat and then let that cook until everything has softened and the onions have become translucent. So this can take five to 15 minutes, depending on your stove, your heat. So we'll just let this go. While this is cooking, I like to clean up the kitchen, um, clean out the sink, and in this case, I need to clean out the dishwasher. Pizza, what you doing? Come here. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. Do you have to go out? Do you have to go out? Is that what it is? Huh? Let's take them out. Now that we have the translucent onions, we're going to put in our garlic. Our spices. So I have to use store-bought chicken broth because I canned my chicken broth wrong and it all spoiled. So it was a lesson on what not to do, but we will try again. So right now I'm just using that and then we want to put in a half, like one cup, so a half of this. Our bay leaf. This is when you also want to add your water. I think that's it for right now. Just let this come to a simmer for a few minutes. Ooh, that carrot got a little burnt. Oops, where'd it go? So right now it's really thin. You've got your water, chicken broth, veggies, seasonings. Let that cook. While that's cooking, you can take the rest of your milk and pour, oh, that was, that was a mess. Pour it in your flour. This is not going well. <laughs> so I'll put it all in this jar and then just shake it up. This is what we will use to thicken the soup in the next step. Wanna make sure there's no lumps that everything is combined. It wouldn't be cooking without a little bit of a mess. So now you wanna add in the chicken. Your flour and milk mixture. And your rice aroni. 
So, so part of the reason why this tastes so much like Panera is because the seasoning packet is magic. I haven't been able to find anything that makes it taste like Panera. So the packet contains, it says salt, yeast extract, spices, onions, garlic, turmeric, soy sauce, but it doesn't say what spices. So again, just magic. So you want to pour in the seasoning packet and the rice. And then you just want this to cook for about 15, 20 minutes until the rice is done. Don't want it to boil too hard or it might burn because now that you've added the milk mixture, it is on the thicker side. So if you don't like it this thick, you can add extra water or chicken broth. And I am seeing now that I didn't mix my flour 100%. And now we have flour lumps in our soup. These are what you don't want. So we will just let this simmer and then we'll be ready to eat. Apollo, is it time to eat? <gasps> are you so excited? Oh, come on. Do, 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 do. Let's get your food. So Apollo gets, he's got a very, very sensitive stomach. So we just feed him rice and hamburger. And he gets half a cup of that twice a day. And then he does not drink water. We don't know why. We have tried to put a bowl in front of his face. We've tried to do an eyedropper and he just will not drink water. So what we have to do is we have to put water on this, which is fine because we use hot water and then it kind of heats this up because it sits in the fridge. So we just put water in there. Let it sit for a minute, break up the big pieces, because he doesn't have any teeth. So he kind of just swallows this whole. And then dump off the water. That's it. Oh, you ready? You ready? You ready? You so excited? Oh, do, 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 do. There you go. The boy. He will 100% make a mess. He gets it all over the floor, but yet he cleans up after himself. So. Good boy. Alright, this looks done. Pull out the bay leaf. Taste this. So it is beautiful, beautiful soup. So hot. Mm. Mm, you know what? 
it needs salt. So I use pink Himalayan salt. You can, of course, salt to taste. This will 100% soothe the soul. Mm, it's so good. It's a little too hot for me to eat yet. So what I'm going to do is find some rolls. I think there's some in the freezer. And make those up while this sits, cools off a little. And then we'll have dinner. And I found some biscuits that I'm going to put my spiced grape jelly on. If you enjoyed this episode, please give it a big thumbs up. And also don't forget to hit the subscribe button for more. We might be playing some more in the kitchen and you don't want to miss out. As always, suki suki. Love the earth, love yourself, love each other. Till next time. Mm. Yum.